welcome again to VFD Hacks by Rohit. So we'll be looking into how we can password protect our VFDs. And I have a Yashkawa A1000 with me today. So uh, I'm going to show you how we can block the uh, unwanted uh, changes in our parameters by using password password protection. Okay. So yeah. So we are all set. Now uh, we have a direct uh, password protection which can be applied to. So like I'll show you, we have a different parameter groups in Yashkawa A, B, C. Uh, if you have used our drives, you you know this that uh, Yashkawa comes into uh, a lot of parameter groups uh, like A1, B1, C1. These parameter groups are there. So with password, we can protect that no changes can be made in A1 uh, group setting. So now to ensure that no other settings uh, can be uh, maneuvered. We first have to go to A101 which uh, enables us to give only operational related access to the user. So if we'll do this, you, it will just show you two parameters and the monitoring group is live. You can go and monitor whatever is happening in the VFD. So there is no changes in that. And so I'll come back into parameter. Now we'll go into ex actual password setting. So what we did, we, we did A101, we put zero here. Initially uh, by default it comes out to be two. You put a zero here, then we go to A104. Now, after going to A104, we have to press stop and up key uh, in sync. So, I'll do that and uh, we'll come to A105. After coming here, we have to enter and uh, uh, put our password here. So, let's say I'm I'm putting it 1234. Uh, this is the basic password I can think of. So, I'll just enter the password. Now, after doing that, we'll see uh, we, we are back here. So now we'll, we'll go to A101, but we are not able to change this parameter. So we won't be able to change this. And if we are not able to change this, we can't access any parameter of this VFD. We can only access the monitoring group, which, uh, are, the, which, which are just the uh, parameters of VFD, like what is happening to the VFD. And we won't be able to change those parameters as well. So now coming back to uh, how to unlock this. Now we'll again go to parameters. Uh, and we'll go to A104. Here we have to enter the password that we had uh, decided for us. So like we had entered 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll put that here. After doing that, we'll go to A101. Now the access is back. We can enter the parameter. We'll put 2 here. Now after putting 2, you'll see all the parameters are here. We have your A1, B1, C1. All the parameters are back again. So now we're back again here. Now how to put it back again in the parameter password protection group? So we have to go back into A104 and you enter any value other than the set password. So I did that and now if you will see, we have again locked the parameters. Now we can't change the parameters. But since we had already given the access, so all the parameters are live. So we have to again go into A104 and enter the para pass correct password that is 1234. Now after doing that, we can again go back to A101, put 0 here. So the access is stopped for the VFD. And now if we'll go back to A104 and put anything other than the password, the parameters will again be low. So now we won't be able to change it. So this is how we can uh, set uh, the password, unlock it and lock it back again. And so, so guys, uh, this is to show you how we can do password protection in Yashkawa A1000. And you can use this video to protect your VFDs with passwords and it will, it will, it is advisable that you remember these passwords we are putting it there. Thank you so much. You can let me know if you need more such content.